Well, dogs possess an incredible sense of smell. We know that. They can even be trained to sniff out diseases. So what about using them to detect COVID-19 in humans? That is the focus of a new study. And joining us to talk about it is the director of the Working Dog Center at the University of Pennsylvania School of Veterinary Medicine, Dr. Cindy Otto. Dr. Otto, thanks for being with us. And yes, we've heard about dogs helping detect things like cancer and malaria. But how does it actually work? How do they do it? So that's a great question. And what we know is that diseases have an odor. And sometimes it's actually the disease agent itself. And sometimes it's the body's response to the disease. And sometimes it's a combination. We often don't know what it is. But a person with a, a specific disease actually has a unique odor that we are able to train dogs to recognize. That is remarkable. So tell us about the study you're spearheading specifically on COVID-19. So step number one, just can the dogs test and tell us that there is an odor associated with that? Step number two, can they tell if a person actually is carrying that odor? Not that they're sick, but they're actually carrying the odor. And then finally, what we would think about is, can we take this to what we would call an operational setting, where we would be able to use the dogs as an adjunct screening tool if patients or if individuals um, are positive for COVID-19. Yeah, Dr. Otter, we're seeing the video of dogs walking around what looks like vials of perhaps different odors. Can you walk us through how you train them to sniff for something specific? Absolutely. So the way we do it is we take a sample. And in this case, um, and in case, many of our other cases, we take a sample from the diseased patient. So we have a sample um, from that patient in our ovarian cancer, it's a blood sample. With the COVID-19, we're looking at whether or not it's gonna be the best sample will be urine or saliva or breath or sweat or something else. And what we do is we have the dog sniff a little a container that contains that sample. And the odor is in a container that doesn't allow the dog to actually have contact with that biological sample. When they sniff suddenly they get a treat. Wow. Pretty cool. Yeah. And so we do that a couple of times. And then they start to go, hey, I sniff this, I get a treat. I can do that. But then we show them a sample from somebody who doesn't have the disease, and they don't get a treat. And then the wheels start to turn, and they go, oh, there's something different about this sample. So I'm going to look for that thing that's different, and then I get a treat. And so as we introduce more and more samples, they start to realize, oh, all of the samples that I get a treat for have this odor, this common signature, where the other ones don't. And that's how we start to train the dog. So we don't actually know what the odor is, but the dogs can figure it out. Wow, it is fascinating. So all of that said, how accurate do you believe fully trained dogs can be on COVID-19? So on COVID-19, we don't have any data yet, uh, but we, we know from other diseases is, is that the dogs can be 85, 90, even 95% accurate. A lot of it depends on the training and the environment and how we deploy them and what, what kind of environment they're working in. But I think we have a really good opportunity to make a huge difference where this is going to really impact our ability to identify those those hopefully asymptomatic carriers. It really is incredible work. Thank you so much for sharing it with us and for your time today, Dr. Otto. We appreciate it. Happy to be part of this. Thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.